Welcome to this video of November Rain by Chris Wu in the style of November Rain by Guns N' Roses. This sounded like a really fun video idea if you've been following my weekly videos. I do one every Tuesday, I call it Trendy Tuesdays. And last week I actually did a different Chris Wu song which did really well. A lot of people commented and said they'd like to see me do more Chris Wu music. So I've been listening to his stuff. He's got a lot of really good songs. His biggest song right now is November Rain, which is also the same name as one of my favorite songs of all time by one of my favorite bands of all time, which is Guns N' Roses. I decided to kind of fuse these two songs together and create a new like 80s version of this modern classic. So this is sort of my attempt at it. And I decided to do it in the style of Music by Blanks. He does these videos where he recreates songs in a new style and he tries to do it in one hour. So. I'm just here in my little laptop studio space. Um, so it won't be anything too fancy, but it should sound pretty cool. If you wanna just jump straight into the music video part of it, I'll put that timestamp in here somewhere. But if you wanna see the process, it should be really fun and I'll try to keep it really engaging. So go ahead and check that out and be sure to subscribe if you like what you see. And I'm gonna jump over into the studio room to start recording. Here we go. All right, I just got the chords and it should sound a little something like this. Starts on the G. E minor, B, and C. So pretty easy. And then with the melody, it should go something like this. November rain just got me feeling so lonely. Suicide when I can't see my shorty. Know they try, but they can't be my shorty. And I fall for you at these times. So I think it's a pretty good start. Uh, next thing I'm gonna do is jump over to the drum set and try to get a beat. Um, probably a much slower beat, so it'll feel more like the Guns N' Roses November Rain. And after that, <clears throat> I'll hop over to one of these guitars and try to get some guitar parts down. It's been about five minutes and I think I have a pretty good beat. Uh, so originally the song would be something like this. November rain just got me feeling so lonely Suicide when I can't see my shorty and then I just showed it, slowed it down a whole bunch so it's more of a ballad, like an 80s Guns N' Roses feel. So it'll be something like this. November rain just got me feeling so lonely Suicide when I can see my shorty All right, it's been a few more minutes. I just sat down and had to get the gold top Les Paul in honor of Slash. And it sounded pretty good, fitting the feel of the original November rain. Um, but I don't think I'll have time to do the entire Chris Wu song. And so what I've decided to do instead is to use some of the melody parts in the guitar solo. Um, and so I decided to take that section on I'm a Savage. I'm a savage, I'm a savage. And just play it down here. And then I just took it up an octave, so it sounds like this. And then I kind of built the solo around it. Um, it's not super written out, it'll mostly be improv once I actually sit down. I'm gonna put this down for a second, jump back on the piano, and then uh, start recording after that. All right, just spent a little bit of time at the piano trying to get something that sounds really ballady and really lush and orchestral, sort of like the Guns N' Roses version. And this is what I have so far. So, um, I think it's a good start. I'm gonna sit down and start recording and just see what happens. I just finished recording the instruments. Um, just here at the laptop. Um, pretty simple recording, but I'm thinking it sounds actually a lot better than I expected. So I'm gonna give you a sneak preview. Um, so I started with just that piano part and layered it with some strings uh, just to give it that big orchestral type of feel. And then I come in with everything. A little bit of drums, got that guitar, big power chord. So, I don't know, it's not quite the quality that I would like to do, but given such a short time frame, um, I'll just have to live with it. Um, but I think the overall feel is pretty close to Guns N' Roses. Um, I'm just gonna show you a little clip of the solo. I just did it in four tries. It's super rough improv type of feel, but I think it's pretty cool. Um, fits the feel of the song. So, this is how it goes. That's the, I'm a savage, I'm a savage. 
That way it keeps the original melody, but kind of builds on it, embellishes it a little bit, um, which has been pretty sweet. So the next step will be vocals, which I'm actually a little bit worried about. So I'm gonna pause this for a second and try to figure out how I can make my voice sound more like Axl Rose. I just warmed up and did some quick recordings, and after listening to a little more Guns N' Roses music, um, there was a couple of features that really stood out to me that Axel did. Um, the first one was that he would layer his voice a lot. So I did a layer first where he's like, November ain't got me feeling so lonely. And it's really low and like grainy, and there's a lot of substance to the voice. And then I took it up an octave into more of his normal range, probably even a little bit low for him, but where it's like, November ain't got me feeling so lonely. And um, my whole emphasis was trying to get a lot of gravel in my voice, which I don't normally have, but with a little bit of glottal compression, um, you can really make it uh, sound a little bit closer to his voice. Um, and then the final thing that he's known for, obviously, is for his ridiculously high range. Um, so I tried a couple of lines that were even an octave above that. Um, so for the I'm a savage part, I just, I couldn't really envision Axl Rose doing, I'm a savage, I'm a savage. So I just took that part up an octave and just said, I'm a savage. <clears throat> so obviously I'm not the best Axl impersonator, um, but I did have a lot of fun with these last few minutes. And let me show you a little sneak preview of how the vocals ended up on their own. You'll notice it has the two octaves layered and there's a lot of vibrato to the shoddy. And so it creates this sort of like, um, almost like a phaser type of a feel, uh, for lack of a better word, but I think it's really cool. And then this is the high note. I'm a savage. I'm a savage. Layered on top of, I'm a savage. So, oh yeah, and then, ow! He always does that. So I think it's actually a pretty good axle feel, um, considering that I'm not much of a hard rock singer. Um, but I'm gonna put them all together now and do a little bit of mixing and then show you how it turned out. Almost forgot, the very last step will be the props. Um, so I just went and found some sunglasses. These look pretty 80s to me. Um, bandana, always comes in handy. Backwards hat, axle style. Um, I found this leather jacket, which would be good uh, for either character, I think. Um, and then I got some hats. Um, this one's more of a cowboy hat, so I don't think that would really work. Um, this one's kind of a top hat, but it's also uh, just kind of wimpy. So I don't know which one I'll use. And then the last one would be <laughs> this one. <laughs> so without further ado, here's the video.
Heaven.